Time in YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of Theme Deck Corner. Today, we are looking over the final of our Kalos trio, Yvetal. Yvetal EX here is a copy, carbon copy, of the X and Y one. It's a reprint, it's beautiful, and this one's shiny. I did forget to mention way back in the Xerneas one that that one was shiny too, but they cares about Xerneas. Everybody cares about Yvetal! Yvetal, 170 HP, dark type Pokemon with Evil Ball, one dark energy, one colorless, 20 damage, and this attack does 20 more damage times the number of energies attached to both Yvetal and the opponent. So, that's cool. We can get a massive amount of damage out if the damage output is there. Hopefully we can get the energies that we need. It also has Y Cyclone, one dark energy, two colorless, 90 damage, Move an energy from this Pokemon to one of your benched. So if you know Yvetal is going to go down the following turn, we can start ourselves getting set up and hopefully get the next Yvetal going. So there's two of them. Pokemon lineup. Why they do this? We get a fur fur. We have a draw card for one energy and tight draw for two. This is a booty card and should not ever be in the presence of Yvetal. Yvetal is Lord and Master. Furfru is Pooch that deserves to be on the couch over there because it's just not that good of a card. Anyway, knocked out though. Now this is an amazing card. I can't see us managing the output of the damage with this deck. 90 HP, high flight is incredible. Two colorless energy does 20 times the number of item cards revealed in both players' hands. There's just a problem. We have what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? So if I manage to have all of them in my hand without using a single one, the maximum output of damage is 200. Anyway, we have Malamar EX, or not an EX, I wish it was an EX, because the EX would probably be a lot better with, than this guy. Stage 1, 90 HP, Dark type Pokemon, and Tangling Control. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with his or her active. The new active Pokemon is confused. I guess it'll be alright. It's only a colorless energy, so I don't really have too much to worry about. It also has Trash Tentacle. One dark energy, put a card from your discard pile into your hand. So it's a decent supporter. The question is, just, are we actually going to get to it? Now the stage two that out of all the stage twos in these last two decks that I don't agree with, Shift Tree. 140 HP dark type Pokemon. Roll up the rim is here guys. One dark energy, one colorless, th flip three coins. If any of them are heads, your opponent reveals his or her hand then for each heads, discard a card from your opponent's hand. Also has otherworldly return, 60 damage for one dark energy, two colorless. Put a trainer card from your discard pile into your hand. Damage output ain't there. And I'm really not going to benefit too much from milling my opponent when it's a flip of coin. So yeah, I don't know if I'll be putting that much emphasis into that lineup. Now we have two Yvetals, regular form. We have 130 HP, dark type Yvetal, Oblivion Wing. X and Y standards coming back in Steam Siege, which will be awesome because this card should stay in standard for a very long time. Um, Oblivion Wing, 1 Dark Energy, 30 damage. Attach a Dark Energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon, so that can really clutch in the right time because I guarantee you we're going to lose a lot of Pokemon. It also has Darkness Blade, 2 Dark Energy, 1 Colorless, 100 damage. Flip a coin of Tails, this Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. Oh no. At least we'll be able to retreat and get into someone else. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe! We're gonna go into the other Yvetal, also 130 HP. It's also a dark type. Fright Knight is a really cool ability. As long as this Pokemon is your active, each Pokemon tool card in play has no effect. This stops Megas right in their tracks. Have a Spirit Link? No, you don't. Have a Spirit Link? No, you don't. I like it. Uh, Pitchback's Pleer, it. Pitch Black Spear is also kind of cool. One Dark Energy, two Colorless, 60 damage, and it does 60 more damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon EX. So if they're trying to set someone up in the bench, they're not safe. 60 to them as well. Booyah! More damage. And that's Shaman worthy, you know. 
60 damage to the Shaman. Now I just need to attack one more time, knocked out Shaman, and possibly knocked out the active. So that are the, those are the Pokemon in the deck. We're going to look at the items now. One Acrobike, because we don't want to discard too many cards. We have an Energy Recycler, because we don't already have a Pokemon that can do the job for us. Either way, we can shuffle five energies from our discard pile back into our deck, which is nice. They took out our Ultra Balls and gave us Great Balls. I don't know why they gave us Great Balls. The other two decks got Ultra Balls, if I do believe. If I'm recalling correctly, I know er, Xerneas got them. Anyway, we have Max Elixir. Look at the top six cards of your deck. Attach a basic energy from your... From a basic energy card you find there to a basic Pokemon on your bench. Shuffle the cards afterwards. Okay, after I butchered that card badly, this can help us speed up the pro progress right away. We could even get even till the X working turn one. So I like that card. Uh, I don't like this card. First off, flip of a coin. Second off, card slot. Third. If I get mollied or judged or end or anything like that, goodbye. It's a terrible card. Don't use it. Bridget, we can search for our non EX attackers, put them onto the bench, do what we gotta do. Yeah! Or if we really, really desperately need a Yvetal EX, she can search for one of those. I knew it was coming. I've been trying to hold it in, but I knew that yawn was coming. Lysander! Finally they gave us the Lysander. Don't know why they never give us one of these. Lysander is a supporter. I don't have a problem using a supporter slot for this. This ability is so clutch. This might be what breaks, uh, like that actually makes this deck viable, is a Lysander. Psychic's third eye? Not so much. Uh, your opponent reveals his or her hand, which is kind of cool. Discard as many cards as you like from your hand, then draw that many cards. I have to sack so many cards to make this thing viable. We'll see. Skyla, she's awesome. Search your deck for any trainer card you want, reveal it, put it in your hand. I love this card. Uh, Tyrano, I'm alright. I've, I've, grown, I've grown attached to this man. He's helped me out in a lot of bad situations. Drawing three cards is never a bad thing. We are trying out the Reverse Valley this time around, uh, the Parallel City for quite a few of the games, but now we have Reverse Valley. Choose which side you want. We're going to be playing on the dark side, because we're evil. We're like that. Uh, dark type Pokemon do 10 more damage as long as it's on that side. Beautiful. If unfortunately we're on the other side and it's a steel side, uh, they reduce, they take 10 less damage, so that might not be good for us. Uh, we have Lucky Helmet, whenever the Pokemon this card is attached to is damaged by an attack, you get to draw two cards. So I like card draw, I think that's a really cool neat thing to have. We also have the dangerous energy, when the dark Pokemon this card is attached to is attacked by your opponent's Pokemon, put two damage counters on the attacking EX. So if, this is only really good for an EX Pokemon. but. It's still a likelihood. If they're an EX attacker, they're gonna have to take some damage to do anything to us. So maybe they're, that's a good thing. They're giving us two double colorless energy, which is really nice. Uh, neither of the other two decks had double colorless energy, so it's kind of nice to see in this format, or in this deck. And then to round it off, we have 14 dark energy. So the dark energy's there. Hopefully we can get these Evitals going. Hopefully this deck can showcase what TCG can be. I'm hoping that Yvetal knows exactly what it is, because these Pokemon matches that we're about to play literally revolve around him. Alright, we're on the hunt for our first opponent, and Checo just so happens to be him. He's playing a straight water deck, so no shamans, nothing like that. Probably Greninja Break. We are winning this coin flip, which is huge for us. So we're going to see what we can pull here. Our opponent didn't have anything, but we do have an Inke as our lead. Okay, that's not good for us. 
I don't like these hammers! Why is everybody playing hammers this week? Alright, our opponent did get a basic this time. We're gonna grab our extra card. It's a great ball, and it's a reg ice. I'm alright with this. There's only one problem. I don't have any energy cards. Well, great ball. We have a hoot hoot, and I'm gonna take that hoot hoot. Give us the hoot hoot. Another great ball. Something good, something good. I'll take the knockdown. And I will Skyla. Do I really have to max elixir? Ooh. I'm gonna have to max elixir. All that energy, still nothing. All right, max elixir, let's see what you can do. Yes, that's what I'm calling for. I forgot it goes to the hoot hoot. Well. Hey, we actually got a heads on on a actual reverse uh, reserved ticket. So I'm gonna grab a dark energy now. We have some huge momentous turns coming because this is gonna take a very long time for us to set up. Water energy on the red ice. We see Bridget. So now we'll be able to see what he's actually playing. Someone is interested in Slowpokes and an Articuno. So we got that dark energy that we were expecting. I'm gonna just drop that down. Knocked out. We're gonna go for the Malamar drop here. And kind of need a sky again. Thing I don't like about Psychic's Third Eye, I'm saying this now, is the fact that I don't draw cards. I just replace the ones I have. So I gotta go with the Max Elixir. Because the speed dive might be all I can do. Why can't I use it? It's an item card. I have no basic Pokemon. I goofed. I goofed! Water energy on the red ice. Call in the fire department! I think I made a huge mistake. Ultra Ball. Sexy Super Rod and a Water Energy. It goes for the slow king. So we'll be able to see the Royal Flash, which if Tails... Aha! You think you've got me here. Sadly, you don't. We see a Lucky Helmet, which I'm gladly going to put on Malamar. I'm going to get rid of your Reverse Stadium. Er, I'm going to get rid of your Rough Seas and go with a Reverse Stadium. Okay. We can ditch. I see a Water Energy and a Slow King. Yes! Dark Energy! Beautiful! I'm going to go with the Trash Tentacle. 40 damage. I don't have a draw supporter in this deck. I have a Tyrano. So I think Skyla is the best play here. And if he wants to do anything, he's got to hit me. You're going to have to hit me. Shauna. Got some five cards. Max Elixir. I wish I could have used that. I was stupid and messed up. Here comes the Resistance Blizzard. Damage is gonna knock me out. We're gonna draw two cards. 
So not bad. Uh, but they're awful cards. Knockdown comes out. And a shift tree. Can't use the supporter. I'm not gonna have time. There's no draw function to this deck. We go for the tier now. We gotta go for the high flight. We're gonna at least do 20, 40, 60. 60 damage to the red ice. We're in a bad spot. We're in a really bad spot. Now he can go for the Royal Flash and knock off our energies if possible. Manaphy comes into play now, which will give him a free retreat into something he may want. Max Elixir. He got that water energy for that Articuno. That's pretty big. We see a Professor Birch. Gets a heads to seven cards. I wish I could have seven cards. Evolves into that Slow King. That means he has two possible chances for knocking off my energies. Super Rod. Had more than one. Goes for the water energy, puts it back in the discard. Or back into the deck. Beautiful play. Beautiful play. Goes for the ice beam. 30 damage. Don't paralyze me. Don't paralyze me. Well. Get a Sea Dot. For the energy drop. And my knockdown. Gonna be knocked out. That was huge. Could have taken care of the red race. Wouldn't have had that issue, sadly. But he didn't use his royal flashes, which was also something he could have done. Oh, he couldn't have. I had no basics. Resistance Blizzard knocks me out 100% of the time. I need to do 20 damage, which is what Corkscrew Punch can do. All right, let's get that into play there. We're just gonna go with the hoot hoot on the down. And I'm gonna attach double colorless energy to it because I will not be getting up to the other one in return. I'll probably be getting knocked out. What? The sir? Yeah, yeah, I'll be getting knocked out. So there goes the red ice. Don't have to worry about him. He is gone. One prize, dark energy. Beautiful. And I forgot, he's not playing. Fighting uh, EX Pokemon. Discard a special energy. Oh, wow. That was rude. Professor Birch's observation gets another seven cards. This guy is not playing around. He's going to go for that triage. He's got that trick coin, because if you know what, he doesn't like that first set of flips, he's going to do it again. And you'll get two prizes. I do believe you're a Delta Plus. You're a Delta Plus, so if you knock me out, you get two prizes. The equivalent of an EX is this Nuzleaf. One. Nope. Two. It's all he needs to knock me out. Nuzleaf is going down. This is a one-sided match, and I haven't even seen Evil I told you! Evil Tom needed to play in order for us to even have a chance. He didn't even show up. Didn't even show up. We have an energy drop on Hoot Hoot, but that is all we can do. Articuno, you're a bigger bird than I am, and you just ate me alive. Just ate me alive. Ooh. That was a bad first game. That was a bad first game. We, we put all the effort we could in. Don't think those psychic third eyes are going to be really good for us, though. That has really bad support. But, we're going to have to at least try one more game. Maybe we just had a bad, bad, BAD match. We'll see. We'll see. Game number two. Alright. What could possibly our, be our final match? We are playing against a Water Psychic Dragon Colorless deck. And Lucky Lukey is the head man behind it all. Coin flip. We're going with the tails. Yeah, we won something today. That's all I care about. Uh, we're gonna go first, because we need to. Can we see Evatel today? We do! Yes! 
Evatol into the active position. I don't even care if this is the only card we get. This is going to be awesome. I really hope, anyway. We see the Jolteon sleeves. I love Jolteon. Don't have Jolteon yet. You, my friend, are going to be probably in a world of hurt. I'm going to attach a Dark Energy to you, and I'm going to go for a Reserve Ticket. And I get it, so I get whatever I want. The question is, what do I want? I think I'm gonna go with a Tierno. Bridget may have been another good choice, but a Tierno. Maybe it's a misplay, but Tierno hasn't let me down before. But I don't have a whole lot of other Pokemon I would have gone for anyway. We'll see. Bridget might have been the right call now that I'm thinking about it. Here comes a Hoopa down. So it's got what, three more EXs we're about to see. Possibly a Mega. Too bad that uh, poor Yuvatol is resistant to fighting and not psychic. But uh, at least we're getting to see him this time. We see a Mewtwo, a Gyarados, and a Manaphy. What? Okay. I see a lot of EXs. I don't know if we see a lot of what we want to see. A lot of tin cards, actually. One Psychic Energy down. So we at least can do 100 damage here. And he still needs another good turn to do anything. Because I'll be dropping that double colorless energy right onto the Evatel. So, there's that Tyranno that I wanted. Double colorless energy. Tierno! Let's see it. Darkness energy and another Eva Tilly X. Beautiful. I like that. So we're gonna go for the Eva Ball, which will do 100 damage. Yep. 100 damage. Turn two. Putting the pressure on, like we were meant to do in the last game. Last game, we looked like a freaking turtle. So he's setting up the next one. Goes for the Mega Evolution. We have an Ink. Play the Inkay. My objective is to get this next Yvatol at least ready. And we are going to go for that Eva Ball. We can knock out this Mewtwo. Take our two prize card advantage right off the bat. Knocked Owl and a Dark Energy. We have got all the energy this time around. I am not worried at all. If I can get a DCE for this Yvatol, it'll be even great. We see another tin card here. Psychic Infinity. This attack does 30 more damage times the number of energies attached to both active Pokemon. Okay, so you do more damage than I do. You're cruel and unusual punishment, and I don't like you. My objective here is to get some chip damage and pass that double colorless energy over to my bench to give it to the X. So, why Cyclone? Is the play to make because that'll give me 90 yes that is the play to make 90 I'm gonna move that double colorless energy over to my bench Yuvatol now it's gonna do he'll still knock out my active Yuvatol but he's gonna take damage from the darkness the dangerous energy and I think that'll put him in range of being KO this is punch for punch this is actually really fun don't know if you guys are having a good time here, but this Mewtwo EX seems to have what it takes to be uh, hyper competitive. Just this one card. I don't know about the rest of his bench. The rest of his bench seems mega turbo! Oh, I don't know if I would have put that there. I don't know if I would have put that there. Because that put you in range of being knocked out. And you have nothing really set up to handle the Evatol now. I don't know if that was the play to make, my friend. I don't know if that was the play to make. I'm gonna go for another Dark Energy on my Evatol, go for my own Evatol, and that will knock out your Mewtwo EXY. Got a knockout, beautiful. We're gonna take two more prizes here. A Furfru and a Tierno. The Tierno is the only card I cared about there. Gyarados, eh. I think the double color here is not working for you, my friend. 
Another Mewtwo EX. I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140 damage right now. And if you get any energy on your Gyarados, I can do more damage. Come on, double colorless energy. This is what I'm working for. I can knock this guy out if I draw the double colorless energy. I do not. So it's 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40. He can't attack me other than with Splash Burn. Er, he can't knock me out anyway. We're gonna play the Evitals, just in case. But I will go for the energy drop on my active to get more damage off. There goes 160 damage. Evitol is just so powerful when he arrives. When he arrives, this is just boom. So 160, I think we've got this. I think we've got this game. He's got another purchase observation. I really do wish we had something like that. Goes for the tails. Does he have an energy? Because that may matter. There's the victory! Yvatili X by himself wins this game. Two Yvatili X, I do apologize. The first one did get knocked out, but that means game number three is upon us, and we're gonna see if we can knock out some more Pokemon with our dark types. Because apparently I have a challenge to do that. Anyway! Game number three. All right, going into our final match, it's against Idol. Oh no, do you have to be kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. We're playing Night March? And he's gonna go first? We, our, how is that possible? How is it our opponent has no basics? What I don't like is we're going to be a huge turn behind right now. I am done. I have no more basics. We see it's... It's a weird play on Night March. If that is the case. Okay then. I don't have a problem taking more cards. To be honest with you, that delinquent just does not... It scares me less and less each time. You have a Pokemon now, though. That is great. We are going to draw all these extra cards because that is just how we play. And it did not help us one bit. Joltik, you have super effective against me. That is not cool. And you get two turns to play. You get a Sycamore. Dimension Valley. Do you go for the delinquent? No, you go for the Sycamore. Okay, so I don't have to delinquent right now. But that is a terrible hand for you, considering you have no Pokemon in there. There's a Battle Compressor, so we're going to see some Night Marchers hit the discard. Three Lampants, I do believe I just saw. Three of them. We see a Trainer's Mail. And Ultra Ball is what he collects. And a Pump Kaboo hits the field. Ultra Ball. And a shame. So, our opponent has been able to play out most of his deck, but the question is, can he knock me out? He can't attack, but he'll be able to knock me out next turn, because he's at, what, 2, 4, 6, 8, 160, I have 170. He gets one more in there, and he wins. Just hands down, he wins. There's nothing I can do. Night March destroys my face. Ultra Ball. Discard another Pokemon. He got it. If he can hit me next... Why would you grab a Lampin? Ultra Ball, that's why. So he got rid of it. Gets rid of that other Lampent. He is down to one card. He's going to draw another... Ooh, he's got the Mew variant. Very nice. Very nice. Drops the Mew. But no energy. Oh, he has a shame. Does he get the energy? Trainer's Mail. Still no energy. Please, all four DCs. Oh. That is the worst feeling. He has no energies. Okay. C dot. Reverse valley. That's fine. Tyranno. Well, we got a dark energy, so we're not out of this just yet, guys. 
We're gonna give it a fight that we deserve! But, uh, that's it. Yeah, That's it. This is going to be so one-sided. There's the double color sign drop. This Yvetal is so knocked out. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. Night March 200, 300, 240. 240. That's all you need to do. Knocks it out, and he knocks out my entire bench now, because I do not have enough time to set up anything. There's no energy. That red card legit just screwed me up. And I got more Pokemon. Beautiful. We're going to evolve that little guy, regardless of it needing nothing. Uh, there's an Ink and there's an End of Turn. Red card royally screws up any person turn one. I had a good hand. I had a good hand. Target Whistle, you're going to bring out that Evital. And are you going to go for a Pokemon catcher? You you get it? Evital is just getting bashed back into the discard pile. 240. That That's not good for us. Okay, no tool cards for you. There we go. Got, got a Evital up there. Yeah. Got a Malamar. But, uh... This was one-sided. This is so one-sided, it wasn't even funny. Battle Compressor. So he's gonna get more damage off. Oh, he got a Lysander. Via Seeker. Oh, Puzzle of Time. Goes for that Pokemon. He goes for the Lysander and the Target Whistle. If he plays two, he can get the Target Whistle. GG, my friend! You just beat me up with a Joltik. There's the Target Whistle. Goes for a basic Pokemon in my discard. Goes for the Lysander. Brings up my Yvetal EX. And then he Night Marches with Joltik one more time to say, Hey guys, game over. Perfect game for my opponent. Perfect game for my opponent. Yvetal EX. Okay. Biggest problem with this deck is there is very little draw support. Psychic's Third Eye is not a draw support card. I don't want cards in my hand, I can get rid of them. But I'm not getting more cards, so if I'm at one card with a Psychic Stadium, and it's Psychic Stadium, er, not Psychic's Third Eye, I'm not drawing any cards. My only draw support in this one was Tierno. So my verdict is this is the worst of the three decks. With that being said, I still think to this day, just not to this day, it's only been, what, like four or five days? No, it's three days because I'm doing them pretty much back to back. No, two, four, yeah, who cares? Anyway, I still think Xerneas is the best, especially if you're just buying for brand new. You get the Octillaries. Right there, there's your value for the TCGO side. You get the Xerneases, you get a really cool idea for a deck. Um, obviously, it needs a bit of fine tuning, maybe a couple Jinxes or something to keep your healing in line. But, with that said, this one here, no. If you're just buying it for the Evatel EXs, great, do so. They're a pretty card. The deck itself, not playable. Not worthwhile. And the only card in it that was worthwhile is the Xerneas EX, or this, the Evatel EX himself. I'm getting way too many cards in my head. Way too mixed up. I've been playing way too long today. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. This was the new Callus Tin series. Let me know which one was your favorite from the sets, and I'll catch you guys next week for the start of our brand new deck analysis series. We're going to be taking decks and doing two battles with, or two double battles with them instead of doing the current format of how we're doing our decks, because I'm kind of wanting to make decks with shamans if I have to, instead of no EXs with nothing. It's just, it's just getting to that point. But we'll see how it works out. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. And we'll see you guys then. Till then, time out.